Hello, my class, and welcome to the quick response video for your English. I realized that I've made a slight mistake in that tomorrow you are editing. Today, you are completing your non-chronological reports. I know that maybe some of you have done a bit of that already, um, but you should be completing them. So we've done the introduction together and you should be writing out your paragraphs. Remember, you can include as many paragraphs as you want. It is up to you. I would like at least two different paragraphs as well as the one obviously that we, the introduction that we have done together. But we do speak a bit about um, what goes into a paragraph today. So remember what we um, spoke about in our SPAG lesson the other week about of forming paragraphs, having topic sentences with um, the subsequent information that then um, follows on with that. So please make sure that you are structuring your paragraphs correctly. You're not going to be writing about what Mrs. Bowen is like now in a paragraph that you have used a subheading of early life. So in an early life paragraph, it'll be about her early life. Um, life as a head teacher, maybe that will be um, maybe what she would be about, uh, what she could be like now. In a paragraph about if you're going to write one about TLAP school, you're not going to be talking about what Mrs. Bowen looks like in a paragraph that's about her school. So it's about organizing your thoughts and making sure that each paragraph has a separate idea. Um, I'm glad to see that some of you have done the fun facts and we did briefly share some of them which is really great some of you mentioned that she has heels that match all her outfits some of you mentioned that she um, roller skates which is really cool as well so think about adding in those extra information pieces um, you could have the short quick facts like we did with the one with Boudicca and then I've also um, briefly um, spoken about the fact that you will on Friday, I'm giving you a bit of a heads up of it, on Friday you are going to be researching a leader of your own choice. We will go into more detail but just to start thinking now who you could write about and who you might be excited to write about because it's going to be your choice. Okay, so please make sure when you are writing the rest of your paragraphs about Mrs Bowen that you are using capital letters, that you are writing on the line, that you are punctuating your sentences correctly. Think about the vocabulary that you're using. Is it interesting? Are you using adjectives? Have you included fronted adverbials? We did a lesson on sentence starters as well. Have you used interesting sentence starters? So that's all something that you need to be thinking about when you are writing. Have you written it in the correct tense? That's also something to think about because we may write a little bit about Mrs. Bowen's past, but then when you're writing about her today, maybe about school, then you're writing in the present. So it's a bit of both. So it's something to think about, about her past and her present. 